Tesla cars are now spotted driving through the Las Vegas Convention Center's boring company's tunnel. Yesterday, we saw some Tesla cars were spotted entering the Las Vegas Convention Center tunnels built by the boring company. And here are some of the details. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss our next Tesla story today. Uh, Tesla reporter Torque from Torque News, uh, Guillaume Umbert, has some details about how Tesla was testing uh, the boring company's Las Vegas tunnels, the Tesla cars driving there. He says it was four years ago uh, that Elon Musk, Tesla CEO, decided that he had 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 enough of traffic problems, creating the boring company. Musk goal to build long underground tunnels that accommodate electric and sustainable transport that can run at high speeds. So the boring company came into being. In 2017, the boring company started to construct a test tunnel that runs about a mile in length and ends up at the SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. The tunnel was inaugurated in late 2018 with Musk driving through it and a Tesla using pop-out guide wheels that helped direct the car through the tunnel. LED strips on the tunnel walls helped give information to drivers about what speed they should be going at. Since then, the construction of more tunnels underneath Las Vegas has been ongoing and the new tunnels are almost complete. Today, two Tesla vehicles, a Model 3 and Model X, were test driving by a security camera as they entered the tunnel. This is visible on a tweet that was shared by Las Vegas locally saying, first two Teslas entering the Boring Company tunnels at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It looks like Elon, uh, Elon uh, I'm sorry, it looks like Tesla has started to conduct trials inside the tunnels and is preparing to inaugurate the new tunnels. The latest information released about the project was unsurprisingly from one of Musk's tweets. When talking about what vehicles would be used for the transportation in the boring tunnel, he said, um, we simplified this a lot. It's basically just Teslas in tunnels at this point, which is way more profound than it sounds. He was then asked about the future of the Hawthorne test tunnels. He made the following statement about that saying, it's still there, but focus is Vegas and Proofrock or new tunneling our new tunneling machine. So Tesla is going to use a new tunneling machine and the focus is currently on that. Now, back in July of 2020, Elon Musk revealed some renders of what a typical station would look like for the Las Vegas Loop Transportation Network under the city. It has a very sleek Tesla kind of minimalist outlook, if you remember that picture. So far, not much has been revealed regarding progress on Proof Rock, the new tunnel digging machine that the boring company is using. We know that for that machine, they are working to increase the power by a factor three, modify the cutter design and add an automated segment erection system. Now, the tunnel is improving. Elon Musk has stated that the tunnel building process only has about 10 minutes of mining per hour as the rest is spent installing the reinforcement and adding power to the newly dug ground, removing the earth and more. The boring company thinks it can achieve a potential 15 times improvement in the speed of boring versus the next best boring technology by building a machine that can automatically add reinforcements and remove earth at the same time as they dig. On February 23rd, the Boring Company tweeted a picture claiming Proof Rock was alive, but it is unsure if the machine was implicated in the construction of the LA tunnel. If you remember that Boring Company tweeted that on February 23rd of 2023. What does this tunnel network mean for Tesla owners, friends? In Musk's opinion, it will drastically reduce travel time 
and in time congestions with vehicles able to travel to 150 miles. The Las Vegas network will almost certainly not allow private Tesla owners to drive through it. Tesla will supply the vehicles to the tunnels and operate them as a fleet. How Tesla is involved in this? The vehicles will likely be modified Model X's since they can accommodate the most passengers. The transport system is due to the complete uh, is due to be completely autonomous, acting like a sort of small high-speed subway. It would be interesting to see the changes to self-driving programming that these vehicles will have. Maybe they will be fitted with extra sensors or more likely have a special software program added that will recognize speed cues and distance from other tunnel fleets vehicle. I don't know. We'll see. Elon Musk seems to have plans to build an even longer tunnel that would link Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Tunnels are expensive and one can only wonder how much this project would cost. Back in 2018, the Boring Company pulled a highly successful PR and funding stunt, selling Boring Flame Towers to people. Uh, f uh, boring flamethrowers to people in the United States. This enabled them to raise $10 million. Maybe they will attempt to try something similar in Las Vegas Tunnel proves successful. Over time, this operation could prove extremely profitable for both the Boring Company and Tesla. If they both change a small, a charge a small fee for each car entering the tunnel or provide a monthly or yearly subscription program, it will be even more successful and profitable. The cars spotted in Vegas serve as statements from the Boring Company. They are moving fast and almost ready to inaugurate the Las Vegas Tunnel. Where do you think the next tunnel will be built, friends? Will it be Los Angeles to Las Vegas or LA to Los Angeles extension or maybe Los Angeles to LAX uh, uh, in, uh, airport? Let us know in the comments section below, please. In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Also, please remember that we're hiring Tesla reporters for TorqueNews.com. If you are enthusiastic and excited about tesla please contact me using the torquenews.com uh, slash contact page or using the about page of our youtube channel where you can find my contact email have a wonderful rest of the day peace be with all of you and god bless you all see you soon in my next report